Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can simulate a project in just a few minutes by using our Sketchfab integration. Here you can see I'm in this project and what I want to do is to simulate the fact that I'm going to add a bus stop right here. I want to make sure that adding a bus stop will leave enough space behind and in the front to leave a wheelchair passing by and also want to make sure that a bus can actually stop in this place. So what I'll do is first I'll use clipping boxes to clip the cars here and here out and then I'll use Sketchfab to integrate the bus, the wheelchair and uh, the bus stop in itself. So I'll catch you in just a few seconds when I have put down my clipping boxes before going into Sketchfab. I have now added my clipping boxes right here. You can see the list of all of them. So I could hide all of the cars and everything that was just floating around. So now I'm going to be able to add my models. So to do that, I'll just go up here on the right, click on add object. And then what I will do is go into Sketchfab models. If you're not connected just yet, it will ask you to connect yourself. So just log into your Sketchfab account. And you, if you don't have one, just create one. It's really easy. It only takes a few seconds. Once that's done, you'll have access to all of the Sketchfab models. Basically, you just have to search for what you're looking for and add it into the application. So in my case, I'll look for bus stop. Look for that. Okay, I'll, I'll look for one that, that seems nice, which I'll add. That one looks pretty good. All right, I'll just click Add to App. Right here, you can see that my model has just popped. So now I'll just put it in place where it's supposed to be, so on the sidewalk. When you place an object, you will have its position, rotation, and scale, which you can change directly from here. You can also change its opacity if you want to be able to see through it. For example, if you're adding glass or stuff like this. And you'll see the name of the creator here. It's just M because that's just his name, uh, like surname in Sketchfab. And then they have the license that goes with it. So you have all of the information and in action, you'll be able to align it and duplicate it directly. Now I'll add first the wheelchair. Uh, I'll just try to see if a wheelchair can go through here or through here. So I'll just have to go back, add object. Instead of bus stop, I'll type in wheelchair. Okay, that one seems pretty nice. Now I know that a wheelchair can pass on that side. If I just take it, I can just simulate it. It passes just well on the other side. Same thing right here. That's going to be just fine if I put it over there. You can go through it pretty, pretty easily. So I'll just leave it around here. That's fine like this. And finally, I'll add my bus to see if maybe I can keep... Uh, those parking spots or if I have to get rid of them, uh, I don't know just yet. So I'll just go back there and then add a bus So let me try to find a good one that looks pretty nice. These are Japanese ones So obviously it's gonna be on the wrong side for me uh, Yeah, that one that one was cool Okay, so that's how it should park maybe a little backwards if I wanted to be able to go out more easily like that That's how it should be placed and so can I keep my parking spots on the back? Uh, if I wanted to, to drive in correctly, I have to, gr to get rid of these parking spots. Because otherwise, if I just had cars here, it wouldn't be able to go inside of that, that little area that we have prepared for him. So now I have all of my answers that I wanted. In just a few minutes, I was able, without even creating model, I just selected models that correspond more or less to what I'm going to have because I don't know exactly which which type of bus it's going to be. Wheelchairs can have very different looks and sizes and all, so I just took one and made it a little bit bigger so I know that it just fits. And so now I can have an overall idea of what that road and that street is going to be looking like once the project is done. And is it doable by following the rules, uh, like having a wheelchair, being able to go through this area? And is a bus able to stop at that bus stop? <laughs> <laughs>